there a guitar in the background? We're going to hear guitar. some tunes? The guitar. This is fantastic. What are you going to play for us? He just guitared himself in the nose. He just said so. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Some Freebird, maybe? <laughs> Somewhere for some Zeppelin, but... Zeppelin? That's cool. Any Zeppelin? All right, are we ready? I think we are. Oh, hold on, I need like five minutes. Maybe like 20, actually. <laughs> All right. Let us know. I'm kidding. He's Let's kidding. Go. I don't. Oh, All right, no, so actually, I, need, I, do, I do need like two seconds. Sure. Okay. I'll work on my pencil rod. All right, now I'm ready. <laughs> Had to turn the lights off. Yes, lights off. We are in the deep dark dungeon. Mm. Deep. It's a dungeon? I thought that was a lab. It's a cavern. It's a cave complex that was turned into a lab. Yeah. You just keep on barring. All right, so when we last left our crew of Starfinders, they had ventured into the um, cave complex on an asteroid. Wait, Mike, didn't turn this on off. Okay, focus. It's making <laughs> Get, well, no, no side comments. You ruin the mood. <laughs> so, um, that's we had. It's not dark here, Jules. <laughs> you had ventured into the cavern where there is a, a strange mist hung in the air that prevents sight past ten feet out. You had entered the um, what was it, a bedroom here, quarters, we and. Can't see. Oh, you're still on the, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Recenter you. Did that move you? Are we? Your bottom left. There you are. I found us. There. You would explore this first room where you would uh, access the terminal, learn that this was a corpse fleet facility. They had been studying the mist and then had found uh, some sort of other artifact that something had gone wrong. We left off. You were at that door in the top right. And that is where we are. So uh, I think before we go through the door, we do a Let's full the door. search of the room just to see. You, if you, you did that last time. Oh, we did. All right. Yes. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and listen at the door to see if I can uh, sense anything, perhaps. All right. I'm going to listen in the walls to see if I hear anything else crawling through the walls. All right. I just want to make sure we're tied together at this point. It, it, we are. <laughs> uh, you, you don't hear anything, Chris, on the other side. Adam, do you want to give me your perception check? Look, I want to use my detect magic cantrip on the door. Oh, I rolled a five. You hear your own heart racing. There's something in the walls. I hear it. It's beating really fast. Ghost is going to look around for that yeah, creature I as well. Game related. What, what, what did you ask? It? I said that I used my detect magic cantrip on the door to see if there are any booby traps. There are no. There is no magical residue on the door that you can. That's what I said. Booby traps. <laughs> Bob, what are you? Looking, what, what is Ghost looking for? He's looking around for that oily, disgusting creature that got into the walls that was in the bed. He is f disturbed. Ghost is definitely freaked out. So th throughout every area of the facility you've been in so far, which granted has only been a small amount, you've seen these vent holes everywhere. Vent slots in the wall more than a hole. And it, as you damaged it, it just retreated through the, through the slit in the wall to who knows where. Siv Sivian heard it on the other side of the room, or maybe something else, on the other side of the room in the wall at one point when you were accessing the terminal. I do not like this trigger. This is not good. We are in a dark place. Things try to kill us. I do not like this. Well, it, 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 it's going to be difficult, but we, we got to figure this out. This um, I, I, make sure you have all your guns out. And if it moves, shoot it, and that might mean it could be somebody in our party, too. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, definitely shoot her. Yes, Don't shoot me. He draws uh, his infernal <laughs> knife and a little flame jouts from the knife on one side, and he's got his 
azimuth laser pistol in the other. Ghost, do you know what this place reminds me of? I thought you were ghost. I think so. I am talking to myself. Do not interrupt me when I am talking to myself. <laughs> it reminds me of the hole. Remember the hole at the academy, Trigar? Mm. Yes, 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 ghost. It's exactly like that. And, 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 yes. When you were bad, they put you in a hole. It was full of oil and water. And they left you there for two days. That's terrible. It was pretty bad. It is like this place. I give Ghost a hug to make him feel better. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right. sorry. The door is a push door, by the way. I pull it. She is gifted. She is very gifted. Hold on, I want to take a picture with my personal comm unit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, hey, hey... Oh, wait. <clears throat> Sorry, it's been so long. Alright, dudes, I can open this door. Just If everybody backs up a bit, I think uh, I think we'd be better off if we just kind of step back a couple. Let but me open the door. door is that way. Uh, if you want to open the door, Bugman, you can open the door. I will back up. I want to open the door. I'm going to open the door. I push it. Well, you can use your mind and just mentally shove it open. Give me an athletics check. Oh, it's a big door. I should have taken on lock. That's right. I at least you've got a strength of like six, so you'll be using your thing in a minute. <laughs> okay, well, I rolled the natural one, so somebody else can get to try oh, the door. Uh, I at least see trips and smashes your nose in the door. These are my bad dice. You're going to corner. Do you have good dice? Yes. They're not pink, are they? No, they're they're blue and purple. I stand back and cool. open the door now. Alright, go ahead, Doc. Give me your roll. Uh, if I'm... Athletics, you said? Yeah. 33? Oh, my God. Oh, my so, God. Oh, my God. So, Ozzy starts pushing <laughs> the door, and he's surprised at the, the resistance. It's almost like there's something stuck on the other side. And as he finally pushes the door Can open... Can I help him? <laughs> and as he finally pushes the door open... I loosened it for you. There is a dead body on the other side. Oh. That was leaning against the door. Ew. It's another dead guy. Can you see it? Negative. Barely, no. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you know, I'll step into the doorway a little bit and maybe. Oh, there, there you go. Shrouded in shadow. Now, yep. Ooh, search the body. Uh, that explains what, why the door was so hard to open. What, You're a clever what guy. killed this guy? You killed okay. him. You opened the door so big. Look at you, strong lizard man. You opened the door, you killed him. It was probably the big smoke guy. I don't like it here. The uh, the body is covered in slashes, like something very sharp just ripped through it, shredded oh. through the armor, and he's uh, you can uh, tell by the uniform that it was a corpse fleet. Mm. How um? Lisi throws up in the corner. Josh, uh, right. Same how, how long is this? Can we tell how long this body's been here, roughly? Like, is it decaying? Is it, it, it the well? It, it was undead to begin with, but the fluids are still fresh. They have not dried out yet. Is it humanoid? Is what race is it? Can we tell that? It, it is humanoid. It, it, it's bipedal, two arms. You can't tell the race from the, the amount of damage done to the body. You know, you can't tell if it's a Lashunter or a human. It's that size. It's definitely not a Yusoki. It's not a Kasath, and it doesn't have four arms. Can we learn? Uh, is it medicine or some sort of life sciences to get a sense of what the creature was like that killed it? Was it claws? Was it bites? I'm gonna go ahead and and use my you uh, have to go into the room. Oh, I'm wait, the room. I'm gonna use my blind sense in the room. Hmm. Chris, you have to move closer to the room. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm all the way on the table. table. <laughs> How's that? That's fine. You still can't get a distance of more than 10 feet. It's 30 feet blind sense. And the, the mist oh, we... is everything. Yeah, but it's, vibra it's vibration. Does the mist vibrate? Yes. It absorbs the vibration. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's only where we can see. Interesting. You knocked my die off the table. <laughs> so once again, Chris, 
uh, <laughs> the the special sensory capacity you have for your character is completely nullified once again. Yes, <laughs> yes, like my <laughs> dark vision, like my dark vision. Everybody's dark vision is turned off. The whole point of this was to use it was to make it this way. Yeah. Okay, I got a thirteen on the life uh, sign of this to see if I can. Actually, I will. I will say that Divian. I get to his character. Uh, his sense gives him an extra five feet over the rest of you. Oh, his, that's his nice of you. No, I mean, I, I thought totally asshole. Most of the time. That's not a nice word. I'm gonna, dudes. I'm gonna get, see what we can uh, sense out of this guy, and and uh, Sivian uh, uses grave words on uh, the corpse. Ooh. Before you do that, uh, let's drag him back into the room and close the door. Hey, that's a smart idea. Hey, the lizard man had a good idea. I, I dragged the corpse Marker? back in. <laughs> oh, the corpse is movable as well. Alright, you drag the corpse in. Uh, the door closes much easier. <laughs> Ozzy, you don't see a way to secure it. That's okay. I'll just keep a hand on the door and feel, try to feel anything that's coming through. All right. Can I do a life sciences check to see, like Bob had said, to see if we can see what killed it? Maybe. Nineteen. Nineteen. Is, ah. is that with your bonus? <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, I at least he looks at the body. As, as I stated, it's covered in very sharp slash marks. I want to say Wolverine claws type stuff. Just shredded. Body is shredded up and down. Kind of like the core, the plague victim in Dresden Files number forget number five. Five, I want to say. Plague? Yeah, five. Where uh, the daughter with the hair. So anyway. So, right, so I'm going to use gra I'm going to use grave words. On, All right. Uh, okay, it, it, it says there's that? a ten a ten percent chance that it will produce something useful. Okay. Uh, ILEC is able to best guess human. Well, actually, formerly Eoxian, it has that. It appears that a slightly elongated temporal lobe that they all have. Do I know? Is there any way that I can figure out like what the what killed it? Like if it's it was cut, like a, it sliced the pieces. There's guts and good. Like everywhere. if it was like a creature that killed it, or if it was like a, a knife. No. Go ahead, Chris. Chris, what does corpse word do? Can you read the description? Oh yeah, you, uh, I can force it to talk, uh, but can't ask it any questions. The corpse utters random sentences for one round with a ten percent chance the information is some uh, something useful to you. Uh, includes warnings about danger in a wrecked ship, a password, a locked computer, uh, the name of a supernatural creature seeking you or your allies, etc., etc. Right, make Same your spell again, Chris. A uh, grave word. You putting it in the chat, Adam? Oh yeah. yes. Let's see it. Is it in general? Unknown spell, grave words. I put the the definition Word. in a well the notes at least in uh conversation. Okay. Yeah. It's grave word, Adam. I did put the grave word at first, said unknown spell. Huh. Alright. Alright, good. Uh oh you put it wrong. Language dependent, but no. Alright, so you gotta make your check here. I speak Eoxian. Are you yep. what are you gonna roll? What do I have to roll? D twenty? Uh, no. It, uh, well, I don't know. Chance. So you can run a, you can roll a one d ten and pick a number, and if it comes up, it talks. All right. Oh wait, pick the number first, Chris, before you roll. Yep. Uh, three. Okay. Good luck. Oh. It talks. It just babbles. Wait, let's hear it though, Josh. It screams incoherently. Oh. Actually, no, it's, its tongue was slashed off. It doesn't make any noises. Kidding. Oh, that's terrifying. Actually, <laughs> actually, you know how I envisioned it? Like a reaver. Tongue? Just, just me would would. I would call the number you would roll, and then you'd give us some piece of information. We wouldn't know if it was good or bad. Oh, that's a good idea for next time. I bet you that would make next <laughs> for next time. Yes, there's more dead yeah, people. So... Don't worry. <laughs> the, the, the tongue, the, the, the tongue is, has been slashed. It's partially there. 
but all you can hear is is its gurgly, screamy, drowning in its own juices. Pretty horrifying and disturbing. Uh, Sounds dude, like it. That sucked. Why did you do that? That was horrible. I really didn't need to hear that. I do not like this place. I want a guts check. It's not Savage Worlds, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the ship with the goblins. Ghost is very quiet. At least they don't and, want to kill uh, me. His normal uh, talkativeness is gone. He's not really joking around. He looks maybe nervous. Alright. Um, everybody form up on me. We're going to go through here slowly and quietly. Listen for... No, keep your ears open. Keep your mouth shut. Maintain your spacing. Dude, would, would, do we want to throw something in there to see if anything pops out at it? Perhaps triggering anything? You're the smallest. You're the bug I man. I, 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 I can't believe I'm going to gonna say this, but I agree with Ayelisi. Let's go back to the ship. Dude, little, little mice man, man. Scared? Listen, Bugman, you go, 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 you go through that door. Look at that red thing. Shirt, red shirt. Is there, do, is there anything that I could pick up uh, in the room that I can just toss on the ground in there? I yeah, found this. I guy, found his head. Got back in there. Yeah, there's beds and stuff. Uh, I can't lift a bed. Hey, hey, tall dude, can you take a bed and toss it in there? See what happens. I, can I just rip an arm off a corpse? You, right? Yeah, that'll be even better. Oh, um, yeah, because maybe it's triggered by flesh. Dun, 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 dun. I really do not like this idea. Creatures triggered by flesh. That is not something I wanted to think about today. <laughs> I think, let's just... Do you guys have anything that you don't really care about that I can light on fire? Just take a bed part. Yeah, have a better part. I want to light one of their things on fire. <laughs> Ghost cuts an arm off the creature with his knife. And passes oh. it along to the lizard man. All right, Lacey, so light it on fire. <laughs> Do you All right, want so to light it on fire, Jules? Yeah. Who's gonna throw it? I'll throw it. I got He's the strength. Got I've I probably hit the throw. <laughs> I hit somebody in the back of the head. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I feel like I'd somehow throw it back to the party. Throwing is a strength check, or throwing is a dex check. I think it depends on if you're trying to be accurate or powerful. Ah. In this case, he's just throwing it. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah, light source that. Light. That's pretty cool. What's that thing? I, cool. It's a random. It's a device. It's just something that shows his light source. No, what's that thing right outside of the edge of the uh, of the edge of the light that looks kind of like big, like to the that body? That thing that looks like a corpse. Yeah. I think it's two legs blade. Another corpse. Awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, it just looks like a body. Okay. Whew. Uh, so never thought I'd be relieved to see a body. I think your uh, uh, fire, fiery arm is showing us another body over there. Does anybody else see this? I see a body. Mm, I ain't got no body. I don't like this. All right, let's go see. Nala. Wait, ghost, you what? didn't loot the body. There Nala. No Nala, are you there? Jeffrey? Alright. Can you hear me or no? Yes, I can. See you, buddy. Alright, give me a perception check, please, Nala. Wait, isn't that Josh's dog? <laughs> this, is, this is my version. Oh, you guys got the same dogs. How cute. It's adorable. No, mine's way cuter. <laughs> There's only one way to solve for that. You put them both in a gladiator arena, and one, two dogs enter, <laughs> one dog leaves. Like Jeff leaves is there on purpose. Anyway, Jeff, what's your perception check? He has a uh, bit of a delay. Five. I heard a five. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. The notice just in time 15. that Anne Ooze Maybe the use you guys fought, maybe a different one, has reached out from a slit in the wall near you and is just about to touch you. Don't let it and touch you. you. And you get out of, out of it. I assume you get out of its way immediately. All right, stop, drop, and roll quickly. Let it leave. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Hey, uh, watch out over there. I thought you had something r just on your shirt. I th it is gone now. I don't know if it's here. Ghost, you can hear it slithering in the wall behind you. Sorry? You can hear it slithering in the wall behind you. He turns. I tell everybody to step away from the wall. He turns his gun and faces the wall. It's in there. It's in there. Trigger. Should I, should I fire? What is it? Yes. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Kill it. He double taps. It's like the, ma it's like the Matrix. Through the walls. A picture like Alien. Let's rock. <laughs> Game over, man. They look we like rock fire, walls. Though, but we'll get there. <laughs> You shoot at the wall? Yeah, yeah, double tap. All right, so you, you obliterate a small dent into the wall. The stone crumbles out, explodes a little bit. You can see how they, you don't know how they how they manage to hollow out the insides of the walls, but you can see there's very fine, narrow, I, I want to say duct work throughout. You can, it's not small enough for you, it's too small for you to move through even. What about Bugman? Bugman is, is a size medium, Bob's a size large, small. Oh, really? Yes. Or large and small. What the heck? Yep. So, it is, Bizarro world. It is not a size that matters. It is how you use it. Please. Not too small for a grenade to go into. Ooh. Uh, That's sharp not, Captain uh, sharp Nala now. has a good idea. Uh, just stay clear of the holes in the walls. Get All we're doing is attracting attention right now. Um, look at us. Wherever we go, we're gonna attract attention. I'm just gonna move away from that wall. Nobody else knows how to stay quiet. You never would have made it through military school. Hey! Little boss, you moved! Go to military school! Alright, so... You did not search the body you dragged in there other than look at it. And you, you've noticed what looks like this may be another body just outside the light source. I, I which is burning out now. Which we is didn't burning search out. You saw what the cause of death was? Slashed to pieces. Uh, right, like but we didn't... So, Josh. Then didn't turn to searching the body? Uh, you're, you're, you are hard to understand, Yeah, Jeff. why does your so, audio suck? So, Jeff was suggesting that uh, if we were doing a medical examin forensic examination on the wounds on the body, we were probably searching the body as well. But I would propose that in the future, as long as Ghost is in the room, if there is a body, as a default rule, we will always search the body. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we search the body. Uh, Josh, what do, we, what do we find? All right. You find a credit stick with 170 credits. Ooh. You find a tactical dueling sword. I'll, I'll paste this in the... Uh, oh, okay. In the thing. Oops, that sword did not help him. Does the sword look like he used it? Like, is there blood? It's still on the sheath. No. Oh, Web weapon's not drawn either. It's like he didn't even see it coming. That is bad. A reminder: tactical dueling sword is level two, one d six slashing, uh, one bulk, or it's L bulk actually, not even one bulk, and it's analog. Is I he all cut up from the front or the back? All over. More on the back than the front, but on both sides. And there was one more thing. Uh, pistol? Bugman, you have like seven arms. Can you use another <laughs> tactical dueling sword? <laughs> My little arms right here, just for tickling the chicks, man. Those are like like from, from the history books. What were those dinosaurs that had the little arms? Oh, they, uh, were, they were so cute. They were like, wiki, wiki, they licked the alarm. Well, the history books only go back 200 years. That's silly. Scared. Oh, yeah. you mean those 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 things are real? So, uh, And there was a bayonet bracket on the pistol, but it somehow it has ghost engraved on it, probably because ghost sent me a wish list with stuff, and that was on there. Hey, oh, how look at this. <laughs> it Whoa, has my name. Know. It is really... Christ. Look at it, it's so cool, it's so shiny. I can kill so no, no, many no. people with this. Ghost, ghost, ghost. I think that's the name of the manufacturer. Oh. But oh. since it says your name, you, 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 you should keep it since it has your name. Take that, ghost. It's got your name all over it. I guess I will. <laughs> he busts out a 
a little screwdriver from his from his pouch, one of his many pouches. In just a few moments, it takes to unscrew it and then reattach it to his azimuth laser pistol. And now his pistol has this mean looking blade that sticks out of it. And you think maybe he can stab somebody with his pistol now. Hey. Oh, great. Really so, minus one to accuracy. Okay. So, are you really going to put that in your cheek pouch now? Oh, yeah. Sure. Giant blade? I put lots of things in my cheek pouch. Even with the giant blade sticking out of it? Yeah, the infernal knife has been going there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Hey, uh, Ilisi, you want to burn some more stuff and throw it in so we can get a better view? Sure. I like burning stuff. So we're going to rip apart rip apart the beds. Yeah, you, and, you're, uh, you're not going to get much more view. I mean, that is the limitation of the mist. But you said it was going out. Yeah, that one's going out. Okay, you throw another one in there. That's fine. All right. Anybody going in? I'm going. Uh, Move yourself. I I just a heads up. I don't think any of you need it. I think all of you have better armor. But Skitterhide is level three armor, plus two EAC, plus three KAC, with no upgrade slots built in. It's light. No upgrade slots. So I don't think anyone needs it. But I'll just mention it in case anybody does. Okay. All right. All right. Cool, cool. Anybody else coming with? But I, Alisi. There we are. Yeah, can, no, we should. We should we'll probably. We should probably get in a square or semicircle. I'll, uh, what is the? I'll take. I'll take the tactic. If no one's picked it up, I'll take the tactical semi. It's a pretty good one. It's a one d six damage, yeah. uh, kinetic. I think I have one already, Mikey. <laughs> Okay. Mike, are you moving into the room? Uh, sure, once everybody else is in there. Okay, you can't be on top of each other, guys. Lisa goes in with her puny little azimuth laser pistol out and says, Hello? Pew, pew. Is anybody there? I have a really big gun. You don't want to be on the other end of this gun. You hear slithering behind you. <gasps> back, the slithery thing is back. I don't want. Lava. Calm down. I, wish I appreciate your acting. It's gonna be too loud for that. I do appreciate you. You are pretty well, my, we're, uh, Oh, we gotta have a back against a wall kind of deal, huh? All right. No, no, no! Don't go against the wall. That's where the like, slither thing is. Can we can we look at the walls and see if there's holes in the walls like there were in the other room? Are they the same types of walls or are they different? The the, the slits appear to be common throughout the areas you've seen so far. Okay. You you recall from the uh, the log you saw last time in the terminal that they had put those throughout the base in their first attempt to eliminate the black mist. It was a failure. So they are probably throughout the complex. Gotcha. This body has the exact same uh, equipment minus the bayonet bracket. Uh, same so, types of wounds, it. presumably? Yes. Okay. As they're searching the body, Ozzy will explain to Nalo why it means. That was I least mean. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I'm going to do, a, I'm gonna do a quick, blind, uh, a quick uh, blind sense to see if I can pick up anything around me? I, I, I increased your viewing range. So yeah, oh. that's what you're going to say. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. I, if, if you want to make a, Hold on, Jeff. If you want to make a specific check to see if you feel something in the walls, let me know and we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. All right, cool. Yes, Nala? Is that the... Jeff, we can't hear you. Maybe type it in the uh, text window? <laughs> I love how it comes in great during our test. I know. Uh, so is that the wall in front of us? He says that wall in front of us looks a little like a coffin. The, the one by the head of the body is the one you're referring to, Jeff? Yeah, I think so. 
The one, the one the trigger is standing on was the door. There is no coffin. You guys are actually, you can, you can feel that you left the room, and it's more of a hallway corridor with spaces. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Ooh, I, at least he's feeling brave. So where a trigger is, that's a door, Jeff. Where ghost is, where the body is, that looks like that's a wall, part of a hallway. I at least he tearing it up. I like to know where things are. What's the ceiling? She makes a quick, she makes a really quick lap. Uh, ghost checks the ceiling. She likes to know where things are, but she's terrified. Does he see anything on the ceiling? Nothing on the ceiling. The ceiling is just uh, rough stone. Okay, and this portion right here on the left hand side, it's not an opening of a door. It's just like. The rock itself no. just ends, is that correct? Correct. And is it carved like, or is it natural? No, natural. Might, it, might lose, it might be slightly flattened like a bench, that unnaturally, but otherwise it's just a, a spot. So does it look like mining like mine. tunnels? Like man-made or humanoid-made? No, these are rough tunnels. Okay. okay. Which way do you want to go, Captain? So you have north and east. Kind of south, east, southeast, maybe. Listen. Listen. Listen? We're listening. Direction. He says, I look, listen, and feel, maybe, in all directions. <laughs> so we listen, north and east. Do we hear anything? Uh, let me pull this out a little bit so I can see. No. There's no, no significant difference. It feels like from your experience that you're in a, in a series of caves and caverns. The captain is pointing to the north. I think the captain wants us to go north. Well, uh, uh, dudes, uh, I don't think I should go first. I'm not going first. Well, maybe because I, 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 I have the best uh, sense. Is that what they call that? Well, my antennas are really cool. Ozzy, up front. Let's go. You have seven arms, and, 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 and you just told me they're all useless. Now, now I just told Ozzy to lead the way. If you go first, big lizard man, I will follow you. Isn't that your job? Hey, look at the lizard man. He's, he's very quiet. <laughs> Hey, lizard man, lizard, lizard man. Is he there? Medication worked. Ghost taps him on the there shoulder. Oh, he just, he, he just came back. Excuse me, are you there? We are in life and death situation here. Well, lizard man, we nominated you to go first. Welcome back to the party. Yeah, I move forward. I guess lizard man does not want his gun. I will take his gun, no problem. <laughs> Who's bringing up the rear? Not me. I'll bring up the rear. Walk backwards. All right. Close. Keep an eye on the wall. Weapons Keep out. Keep an eye on each other. That's a single step to your right, Adam, where the black changes. Does that make, does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a, like a ledge step. Oh, yeah, it's like a ledge step. Okay. Who are you leaving behind? Let's go. Is is that a uh, chasm right there? Like uh, that black divider? Oh, actually, no. It's a step. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, are we going left or right, then? Let's double back. We'll take all left turns to start with. But the way to get out of a maze is to keep your hand on uh, the... When, when you guys searched the other body, it had the exact same equipment. I told you that, right? You yeah. Did. I jotted it down. Okay. Minus the ghost. I would say we stayed to the left the whole time. That's a good... Is that a uh, spel is that a spelunking uh, maneuver? That's a maze maneuver. Isn't a maze maneuver staying to the right? Six and one half dozen in the other. It depends on which way you're facing, I guess. Hey, Trigar, Trigar. Yes. Do you remember that alleyway where those three people tried to kill us and then we ended up shooting them? Yes. This is like that alleyway, no? Very much. Mm. Do we hear anything in the, in the walls? Are the walls similar to what we? This fog stuff is cool. 
Yeah. You, uh, you get any perception check for listening in the walls? Yeah, sure. I, I think what we're doing is constantly perception checking. Yeah. 20, 23. I only got a 14. All right. You don't we're hear anything. This, yeah. Sorry, just we're moving through this slowly, not talking, not making any noise. Just oh, trying wait, to. Oh I rolled a natural. I know. I rolled a natural twenty okay. on my perception check. So that's a twenty-six. Uh, there seems to be a consensus that there is some noise coming from up ahead, uh, toward the left where Ozzy is headed. I wish you could. Okay, I think that we should abandon the plan and go to the right. Carefully, stealthily move up to the left. <laughs> Weapons ready. Who's playing with baby toys? Trigger, will you stop playing with that toy? It is really, I mean, I liked it at first, but come on, Trigger. <laughs> Oliver, please. <laughs> oh no, he's having fun. I know, no. <laughs> let him keep playing. It's adorable. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What's that? Mistake. That looks like bad news. Go away. What's that? It's... A dead body looks like. Hold on a second. So I manage it and crap on my screen. <laughs> Throw me here. Oh what did you Oozing out of the wall oh, right in God. front of you is a uh, one of the oozes that actually come out of the wall. It was halfway in, halfway out. Roll for initiative. Ah. Lacey screams. Like ear splitting. Hold on, I gotta. What do I gotta do? I gotta click my guy, right? Ooh, I rolled a natural two. A 22. Point I got a 22. A point oh three though. What'd you get? I don't know. I don't mind. I don't do that. What I is your rolled... what's your dex bonus? Uh, non-existent. So then you have a 22.0 and he has a 22.3. So he goes before you do. Oh, it's a twenty-two point one, whatever. I don't. Yeah, it's I got a, I got a twenty-four. Her deck probably is a zero. You rolled twenty-two. And here I'm happy with my sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think mind thrust is going to work on a mindless creature. Probably not. Mm. Oozes have all kinds of interesting. And there's no way I'm touching the ooze. Mm. Am I right gonna... next to the ooze? Oh, that's great. Yeah, you are. Jeff, do you touch it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where is the ooze? Oh, look on the map. I don't see it. We can flank it at least. Oh, he's right there. I want to know what 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 is everybody's an average plus for their knit? Because that is one thing creatures seem to suck at. Their knit is bonus is like plus two. That's why I, I have a current plus six for my knit. Plus seven. I'm a plus, plus five. I'm only a plus three. I'm at what I have. Uh, Jeff's got improved in it, so he has at least plus four, but I couldn't hear the rest of what he said. Plus six. No, oh, plus, plus six. six. So I we're got have, the lowest in it. We're averaging plus five. Go ahead, Trigger. Or Nala. Um, I will let trigger. the captain go first. And I shoot. How did I get at the top of the room? You were bringing up the rear. Oh, you uh, the map switch, switched around? Yeah. We're heading you're south. Heading, you're heading south now. Yeah. Let's okay. Go. I rolled a seven. You might want oh, to type wow. that in. We couldn't hear you. Oh, <laughs> you rolled a seven. That's a very crunchy pretzel, Jules. That was actually me, I think. Uh, oh, your your laser blast. your laser blast hits the wall, infected against the creature. Trigger. 
Focus on that one. Get him. So I so I clearly see um, where Nala was shooting, right? You can see the creature. Okay. So I'm going to shoot the creature. Hey, Jeff. Your roll was an eight. What was your... your you rolled a seven. What, what was your bonus for that? I rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to do some shoosting with my pistola. Which one? Shoot the max. I'm gonna use the uh, new one. Oh, tactical pistol. Okay. The tactical semi-auto pistol. That's an old school gun-powered weapon. Yeah, I want to see if it does any damage to the ooze. I have no idea. Uh, trigger does not hit the creature. What? No, come on. I don't believe it. He does not. What's your roll? A five. What's your bonus to hit? Uh... Four, so a nine. That is not enough to hit. Well, I wonder if you were close. <laughs> See you later, you're up. All right, I'm going to take a guarded step backwards. Oh, he knows his stuff. Somebody's been reading the rules. I have. He and then I'm going to go sh try to shoot it with my lens pistol. All right. I think I rolled it. Oh, hold on. It's a good thing I didn't miss too bad because kind of Sivian was in my way. <gasps> what, what about a plus one for me? Forget him. And get him. So I got a, a natural 20. Natural 20. Double damage. And uh, there you go. There's It's burn damage and it's uh, 16. All right. No damage. That's how it's going to be, huh? I know it. <laughs> I was going to say plus 1d4 burn if that needs to even be rolled out. He's got to roll that at the start of the creature's turn. Or you could roll the damage, the burn damage now. He takes roll that burn damage now. So I can keep track of it easier. Roll now. All right. Uh, 1d4. Uh -huh. Chris, this is a Chris, good start. A good start. Uh, yeah, well, Mikey rolled it. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Excellent. <laughs> All right, Mike. What did you do with the actual Chris? I don't know. I'm taking over from Mikey now. I would say <laughs> you're there on fire. There was a swap somewhere in the past two weeks. So, hey, Bob. Yes. Just for the record. I made the Pharaoh. I made the ooze uh, a character sheet, so I actually put his HP in the green bubble, and his critical damage in the blue bubble. Unfortunately, we cannot see either of those I bubbles. Know, I know, but you all have your own bubbles. And we can't. Oh, yeah, we can see our bubbles, but they're not full of anything. But I guess I could put numbers in there. But from a, from a DM record keeping perspective. Oh, so you know at a glance with multiple people. That's cool. Yeah. Josh, you were learning the tools, man. Very impressive. I, I yeah, he's really going after those achievements. <laughs> I got all these once I'm done. We call that the achievement whoring. <laughs> I'm gonna use my my new disintegrator pistol and shoot him. Oh, huh? my liquidator disintegrator pistol. That's a nice weapon. One d10 damage. Sounds like a Gru weapon. Liquidator disintegrator oh, pistol. Pistol. I measured. I'm close enough. Never mind. Disintegrator and Aether? Could be a, uh... An Aether and Aether. Could be a Dr. Doofenshmirtz weapon. Yeah. yeah. I rolled an 18 to hit. Plus base attack bonus. I am getting the... So that's 20... 21 against, um... KVC, I believe. Alright, I need you to make a strength check for me. What the heck? I just want to shoot. I forgot to make Chris have it, but he rolled a natural 20 so I can hand wave it. What is a strength check exactly? Like, what are the mechanics of a strength check? Actually, I at least he doesn't need to make it. Only the people who would be doing melee would need to make it, I guess. It doesn't give me a, the, the creature exudes a, a magnetic field and it pulls things away from it wants to pull things away from you. Mm. But in the case, it doesn't, it doesn't give me the the distance the field extends. And I'm not going to make it. Uh, oh, 30 feet. Never mind. So, would you roll for your strength check tools? 
14. Wait, athletics. What, what is a strength check? It's athletics. Okay, that's different than strength. No, yeah, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have a bonus is. for athletics, and I don't for strength. Oh, then it's a straight of strength check. Then you don't get the bonus. Sorry. I didn't uh, well, it's four. I have a strength bonus, so it's 14. I'm still trying to figure out what a strength check is. It's a negative Josh. two for me. Josh? Jeffrey? I rolled a 10. As far as science goes, I, I believe magnetic field. I, I'm, I'm ignoring every word you say because I'm just doing what it says on the character. The distance from the object, just. Right. You, I rolled a ten for damage. You hit. Yeah, I told you that. I rolled a, a twenty-one to hit him. All right. So I at least see she feels the the the, the creature's magnetic field trying to pull the weapon away from her. She holds on. Oh, it's it, also my weapon is also defiant, so that would not work. Uh, she manages to hit, and she does ten damage. 10 damage. In both Chris's and Ilyse's case, it does not look like that full damage gets applied. The creature seems to shake some of it off. What the heck? I rolled a 10. So acid didn't do full damage, nor did uh, fire. fire. Interesting. Freeze it. It's goo. Hey, but your Defiant is really coming in handy. It's going to be really hard for that thing to steal its weapon from you. Yeah, so that's the other thing. Is My Disintegrator Liquidator Pistol is defiant, which means that um, it resists efforts to be removed from its wielder. It, it does not actually remove the weapon from your hand. It just makes your attack penalty have a bonus. Uh, your attack roll have a uh, negative. Uh. Izzy. That'd be cool if it did, though. <laughs> so, Izzy, give me a hand. strength check. <laughs> what, what, I'm still trying to figure out what is a strength check. I just looked it up. You just roll a 1d20 and add your strength modifier to it. Oh, okay. I hope it's a really low target DC. I mean... Uh, getting there. Hang on. Sorry. I might want to put some effort into strength. Actually, when you guys hit level 5, I believe you get, to, you get to raise your level. You get to power up some of your ability scores. Okay, okay, 17. All right, so you, 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 you have no negative to your attack roll. Go ahead. Okay. And now am I... I, I can't tell how far away I am from him. You're close enough. Melee range is fine. I, just, you, I, you, melee range I, I want to be, one, be one square away from it. Yeah, you're one square away. Okay. And I got to do my most important thing here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> Barely, but we heard it. Yes. Okay. What hey. kind of damage is that? Uh, that is slashing damage. Slashing damage. Oh, like the slashing on the damage. Dead guys? Um, your you your whip slices right through the creature, killing it immediately. <gasps> what the heck? Yay! I'm useful. <laughs> I helped. I was flanking for you. Did you see that lizard man? I was right here. I helped you. Yes, sounds good. Oh, I forgot to add the plus one. Oh well. Uh, anyone want to oh, give me? me anyone want to give me a life science check here, or, or something oh, along those lines, and I'll see if I can give you some information more about the creature. Uh, mm -hmm. Life science. I can do that one. Right, at least he's got a nineteen. Anybody better? Better. I'm gonna. Would a mysticism, gonna would a mysticism work? Uh, a natural nineteen. So yes. A mysticism would not work in this case. Chris is a uh, physical life, creature. Twenty-six on a life science. I'll assist one of you. For uh, I'll give you one of you a plus two. Whoever wants it. So yeah, twenty-eight plus two to Mike. All right. So you, you guys, Ilyse and uh, Trigger, look at this thing and prod of this thing, and they talk. And for a change, they don't insult each other constantly. They re they review the, what what they saw occurred during the, the battle. It's it's clear the creature has some resistance, some damage reduction, uh, but it does appear to be. Uh, What's sort of look? It does not have it does not have reduction against slashing or piercing weapons. Well, obviously because it's dead. Wait, um, oh, Mike missed with his gun. That's right. Okay, I missed. Yeah. So, and then as I stated already, it has a magnetic field that extends out thirty feet, and if you fail your strength check, uh, you result in a minus two to hit. Okay, so being flanked is helpful. Yes. Yeah, it cancels. All right, let's move on. 
watch the wolves. Cool. Give me a second. I'm going to go hit the men's room really quick. I'm, I'm going to use my jump just to fly over the dead wolves. Ceiling's 10 feet high, 12 feet high. I love you I put them on a little itty bitty bit. Does anyone not have a weapon that does slashing damage? Because we have an, two extra swords here. I only have a survival knife. You should take the sword then. Okay. Can I... wait. What, do I have to have any sort of proficient, special proficiencies to use the swords? I'll double check. Or are they I just... I have the... I have the tactical sword myself. Uh, it is... Oh, you know what, Jules? You, you can use a sword if Bugman has a sword. He's got like a strength of... Like zero. I have a negative. I can't tell if it's a basic arm or advanced. I have to try another... It's a slashing weapon, melee weapon group, basic melee weapon. Oh, basic. There we go. Oh, basic melee? Okay, so then I can use that. You sure then, can. Right? Yeah. I think... Um, yeah. one of the, the, the sports. So, oh. Captain Nala takes one, and uh, Alicia and takes the second? One. Yeah. Awesome. And if well, you want to take the, uh, uh, the other weapon is piercing also, that other pistol that we got from the corpse. That's true. And piercing damage is just like slashing. So, we have so. another pistol. Who's got... Uh, this is for shooting. Who has a who has a weapon, a ranged weapon that does not do piercing? Bugman, do you have a a bullet weapon? Uh, I've got a dueling tactical sword. What about your shooting weapon? I, uh, think, I think Ghost. He's gonna he's he's gonna say that he makes love, not war. So he's not gonna totally like. He's totally like. All over, like not shooting things that like make loud noises. That is a ridiculous sensibility. Why would he have such a philosophy trigger? Well, I've seen so much death and been around it. You, we should really try to like talk to these creatures. If you have seen, I don't the think mountain, they have mouths. You have been tried to be 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 killed. You would just kill things and then and then talk to them later. Well, I do have that ability. Yeah, that was good. You it, should do do more of that. That was a pretty cool trick, Bugman. How how do you make the dead people talk like that? It's a special trait that I've learned through meditation and yoga. Really? What is uh, uh when, when you do when you do downward da downward dog with all those arms like how does that work, man? How like totally well, I don't do downward dog. It's more I do the praying mantis. Right, praying bug mantis. Got it. So, Bugman, how many chaturangas do I need to do to be able to have dead creatures talk to me? I would like to know this. <laughs> For you, little little mousy man, it's probably uh, a little too much out of your league. That is incredible. Six more loses attack. Son nice. of a god. Well, I mean, you're, if you're going to yammer the whole time. I was, I was, I was uh, moving. Myself. Josh, we didn't know you were there because the lights were I, out. I didn't even know you were back, dude. <laughs> we were just killing time having fun while you were using the facility. Okay. I'll cut your slack this time. All right. What's moving? The creature is, the creature's dead. We're able to move on. Uh, we searched the body, yeah. of course. Is there any items in it? Like... Items from previous victims or anything? You you can't touch the body. Okay. Can't touch it. Do you want to touch it? Look at that thing. If there's loot, he might touch it. Ghost. It. Ghost. Can you make me a perception check? You were just next to a wall. Something happened. <laughs> Should we not be near walls, everybody? No. All right. That, 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 I think I've said that several times. That satisfies your ability to make an acrobatics check to avoid what just happened. Something just was past my leg. Wait, did you did you hear that? I think there was something in the wall. I do not think we shall be in the walls anymore. No, no, no. So, something attacked you from the wall. You were able to perceive it, so you get to respond with an acrobatics check. If you did not perceive oh, it, I would just be rolling the attack roll. Oh, I see. Okay. With the acrobatics check, I'll let you give the opportunity to get out. Okay. Oh, God, another one. Uh, 
How's a 31? He rolls a 7 against a 31. No, no, I rolled a 15. It looks like a 7 to me. <laughs> if, you, if you hover over the 31, yeah. you can see. <laughs> it's still crazy, but... That's you, still ridiculous. Like, hmm. Yeah, at level Are 4. Are all just operatives? I'm, I'm showing the math. I'm showing the math. I'm not denying it. I'm not, no, it's not you. No, it's, <laughs> it's not, not you. you. We, we're incredulous about. So, um, you, you see what looks... Almost like a a black blade, come some slicing through the the opening in the wall where the the ooze would one of the slots in the wall where the ooze would have been, Ooh. and it just shaves a little hair off your backside. Uh, the ghost does something out of the Matrix. He goes into bullet time. He leans backwards, and it just ah. barely slices right over his whisker. In fact, I think one whisker gets sliced in the process. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, oh Lola didn't like that. Holy best Mara, that was something. Oh. I thought we killed. Stay quiet. Stay away from the walls. Away from no more walls. No more walls. I want to go back. I thought we killed her. All right. Going south. I think we need to catch up to the lizard man. Yes, yes, I'm don't, coming. I moved forward a little bit without realizing that we were stopping for that. I thought it was already done. Everybody, stay in the middle. Elise, get away from me. You are too close. Jeez, social distancing. Come on. All right, this is the end, guys. Yes, we know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't know. Just making sure. It is dark. We were not sure. <laughs> is that a pick, is that a pickaxe on the ground? Do... Wait, where? Yeah, we... Oh yeah, is that an implement or something on the ground there? Yeah, the problem is we can't see both sides of the wall at the same time. Yeah, exactly. I I, I can. I can. So we're doing look, listen, oh. feel the entire way. Okay, so I'm, I'm. Are you not able to see far enough? Should I increase the fifteen feet so we make this a little quicker, easier for you? Or is 10 adequate? It's fine. Okay. Is that a pickaxe, Josh? I don't know. I didn't make it. Oh, all right. All right. Is that relevant, is that relevant to our adventure, Josh? No. What, Bob? It's a, it's a pickaxe, Chris. Yeah. All right. It's a pickaxe on the map, but it's our characters don't actually see it. Yeah. Yes. Where's Ozzy? Ozzy's way ahead of you. Yeah, you're you're been, way behind. You're lollygagging. I, I'm moving my character. What are you doing? You, you, when are we going in this direction? Because it was a dead end. It was all dead ends. Oh. Are you telling me that we killed that ooze for no reason? Look, even uh -huh. the captain is paying attention. Come on, and he's on like 300 baht. Get with it. Well, now I'm ahead. He's Chris, still I moved to the right oh, place. No. All right, I just gotta one? make my screen smaller, that's all. It, it, it is a lot. Dead end, turn around. Stay the <laughs> Perhaps Stay quiet. Stay away from the wall. Can we not use the word dead in dead end? I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deceased end. It's a pickaxe that's not there. Well, Z, can you go north here, please? Uh, there's, no, there's nowhere to go. No. It's a dead there end. Is. But the pickaxe is a dead end. Go to the east. Captain You're in Nala. the wall now. What are the you other... doing at the wall, Captain Nala? That is not right. <laughs> Isn't this so much easier having us move ourselves, Josh? In this case, it is. I don't know if it's easier for me, though. I must say, I have to pay attention. <laughs> That's this the is point. where we came from. We came no. down from this way. I Wait, don't think we know where we came from Do at this point. Do we actually see that light in the distance? Yeah. You don't actually know. see the light in the center of the room. Right. Oh, what? Josh changed, Josh changed the map on us at some point, man. Upside is down, and downside is up. Definitely down. changed the map. I us. actually took the map and spun it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Nala. Can you guys... Hold on a second. Can I you... see that big light. All right. I'm going to make the light bigger. We're investigating along the walls to get the size of this cavern. Okay, yeah, map the cavern now. Oh, okay. Because there's stuff to see here. 
Actually, no. Lisi's not going anywhere near the walls. Is this a door? That is a door. Alright. I found a door to the north. <laughs> there's a label on the door. Does it say lab two? There's, not, says, there's no label that we can see. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant on the map. No. <laughs> what, what, what's, the, what's the door labeled? This is lab one. The, the door says lab one. Yes, trigger. Yes. While you're playing up in the dark up there, give me a perception check. Okay. Oh, God. When you got to the narrow area. Oh, yeah. There's a there's an opening in, into this room from the northwest there's as well. Uh, 20. All right, you see it coming. Give me an acrobatics check. Uh, got it. Uh, 14, 23. 23. That was a good snap, you too. Just, you just avoid another blade coming through a, a slot in the wall. Ooh. Don't come up here. Uh, there's a, the, there's another n another one of those things in the wall. Trigger, are you okay? I'm good. What I'm happened? Okay. What happened? One another... of the, that cut off your whisker. <laughs> the, the ghost tried to get me too. Can we... we should... Hey guys. Do you want me to light stuff on fire again? I think you should light everybody on fire. Except for me and ghost. Hey, there's a large staircase that goes down over here. Where's over here? I can't see you. <laughs> He's on the uh, other side of the glowing middle. thing. Let Meet us... up in the middle. Meet up at the glowing thing. Yes, let us go here. Everybody to the glowy thing. Yeah, we should definitely check the glowy thing out too, by the way. What is All this? Right. Is this fire? It's a, it's a uh, malfunctioning overhead light. Hmm. It's still somehow lit. It's malfunctioning because it's not. <laughs> It's not show. It's not. It, it. It. It's probably brighter than most lights. You think it probably was able to fill most of this cavern, but the uh, intensity of the, despite the uh, the, the brightness, the uh, so oh, and, and it's one of the it's one of the supernova LED lights. It's like a three hundred watt bulb instead of the hundred watt bulb you're using. Uh, trigger. Do you think that you could repair the light to spread more light in this room using your impressive engineering skills? I, could. I think it'd be like driving in fog. The brighter the lights, the more it reflects back at you. Then, then, why would they put such a big light in here? I don't think this fog was always here. I think, I think the question is, your intelligence is what? Oh, good one, Trigger. Oh, you smoked him. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't you come in here and just hold still for just a second? Uh, I'm going to stand right in front of you and try to fix this bright light. All right. Um, while, while you're doing that, we have a, 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 a hallway to the northwest, a door to the north that says Lab 1, and stairs to the southeast. And I at least get a question. Ozzy, did you find any other doors? Cause it's a th in the in the notes it said lab two. But you said you found lab one. Are you sure that you read it correctly and it wasn't just a really fancy number one? That's a good question. I I, I at least because like sometimes people it's put the smart. little line on the top and the bottom and it could look like a two if you're confused. Sh 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 show him show him with your fingers. What a one looks sometimes like. Sometimes the one looks like this, but we're looking for a two, which looks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show him again. Uh, it's actually the Oxygen, so it looks entirely different than what you're used to. <laughs> I, I should like to see what is in the lab. Maybe it is some kind of, uh, of weapons. Maybe there are things here that we can loot. Or, 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 or ghost. Maybe there's some evil experiment in Ah, and then we can, I, wait, I do not like this idea anymore. Maybe we do not need to go to lab one. I Perhaps think... lab two is connected to lab one. Oh, oh, now he's using his intelligence. What if lab two is downstairs? Well, let us then go we'll see these doors. The I say I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and listen at the door to see if there's anything I can 
hear? No, you can't hear anything. Nope. Oh, even with the 24, it's a nice roll. Hmm. Can, can we, can they tell if this door swings in or out? It's a pocket door. <laughs> oh. Sorry, what's a of pocket door? <laughs> pocket door is one that goes into the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's my favorite of all doors. It's like a Star Trek door. It's like a Star Trek door. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Gotta make the noise, Ozzy. Go ahead when you do it. <laughs> Ozzy, this, this door opens easily for you. Lizard man, why are you making that noise when you are opening the door? That is very strange. Now close it. <laughs> if you don't make the noise, the door doesn't open. Oh, I did not know these. I want to try. Have you have you never lived in the future? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only live in the present. Staying to the left and staying quiet. This is a. This is clearly a lab, but there's. It's been completely devastated. It is. Let me see. I had a description here. This room was clearly a lab many years ago. Now it is a blast. It's blasted into ruin. The equipment is twisted and. Uh, just shredded all over the place. It looks like there was a massive explosion of some type. Hmm. Uh, Chris, stop. Yep. You note that there is a uh, a portable light panel that was installed here, probably after, almost certainly after the blast. So, you turn. Did you turn it on? I can't. Yeah, see. yeah. Did I did I add it there? I can't tell. Yes. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's there, but you can see. Yeah, it's there. Uh, we searched the room. We uh, are looking for anything salvageable, and we're also trying to get more information on the on the story behind the blast. All right. Although, so you find another light panel, and another light panel. Uh, you also find a. Give me a perception check. Everybody or just whoever. Everybody. Oh. Nine. I got a natural 19, so a 28. All right. So you find the terminal that, that uh, Trigger thinks he can get working again, as well as uh, several glow stick type devices. Actually, I'm going to say you find a box of them, like 100 glow sticks. So I'm going to let you guys litter the area with these to make it easier to see as we go. That fair? Okay. As long as you don't have to do it mechanically on the map. <laughs> All I do is I, I made it a care I made it a creature. I just drop it on anywhere I want. If you're gonna manage well, it, I'm okay with that. You just tell me when you want one. <laughs> Every ten I feet. Want, Every ten feet. You don't have that many. Every ten feet. I want one in front of me. So I, well, I guess in front of. Me. Actually, what we, uh, what we could do is we could actually uh, drop them every ten feet, and then whoever is the last person in line picks them up as we go. Yeah, it's more for it's more so you could see a whole room at a time. Yeah, this is like those problems where oh, you have another like glow panel? people that are like crossing like the pool of lava, and you have like the two pieces of cardboard or whatever. <laughs> you gotta just pass them back. I haven't heard right, of I mean, that problem, but yes. <laughs> I moved Nala in. I don't know where Jeff went. Uh, trigger, you there is a terminal. It is pretty beat up. You think you can get it operational though? Is that, is that what I'm in front of right now, Josh? What, Mikey? Is that what I'm in front of right now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's a fantasy map. Whatever you want it. <laughs> Make it your fantasy. Okay. It looks like, it looks like it would be the place where they would have the... So I'm going to start to see if I can get the... So we're going to need an engineering check to get it operational and a computer yep. check to get into it. Okay. So let's, you want get to assist? let's get engineering first. Before you roll, let's see if anybody wants to assist. Oh, okay. Uh, app always ghost is always helping out trigger giving him a wrench and stuff like that. What is this? Computers? Engineering uh, to get it working. Engineering. Okay. Engineering to get it working. Computers to get in. Uh, okay. Uh, ghost, what can I get for you? Do you want the Phillips, the flathead? Uh, what do you want? Here. So you got a plus two. Left okay. handed wrench. Headlight fluid. Um. So engineering. Uh, 15, 25, 26, 27 for engineering. All right, you're, you're successful. You take the, the battery pack you use to power up the other terminal. You wire it in. 
you have some uh, extra components, you, you do some stuff, and the terminal lights up, the screen is slightly cracked and distorted, you know, like a, in a, your phone if you broke, this, broke it, but you are able to see what you, you see is powering up. Okay. And then uh, I'll need a computer's check, right, to... You will need a computer's check to get access to the data that's inside. Okay, so does anybody want to assist with that too, or in just... Uh, that looks like uh, Q basic there, trigger. Uh, I succeeded, you get a plus two. Oh my gosh, Ghost, you've been, you, you've been paying attention to everything. It is Q basic. Anybody else who wants to assist can assist. It doesn't have to be just one. You can have up to two or three. I'm going to assume that this is enough because I that's a thirty on computers. Whoa! Wow. I, 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 have a plus, I have a plus twelve. You gave me a plus two, and I rolled a sixteen, a seventeen. Whew. All right. Uh, I will wait for Jules to return, and I will tell you what you found. Okay. I'll wait. She's in the ladies' room telling me she can hear me. <laughs> is, there, is there anything written on the door that uh, Ozzy and I are standing next to? Uh, well, two. Please say lab two. Please say lab two. It does not say lab two. <laughs> it says, and there's no label on it. Okay, that doesn't mean it's not lab two. That's right. Maybe we can get schematics from the computer. Jeff, are you back from wherever you are? Yep. Okay. Um, Mikey's exploring every corner, and Bob's exploring every corner of the room. I am. <laughs> what kind of lab? Right. It, it has a computer panel, but uh, from the ru rubble and wreckage, can we tell? Was this like a bioengineering? Was it a physics lab? Was it something else? It looks like it had a sort of variety of purposes. It's a large room. When when you really look at it, there you're. Give me a physical science check. Natural one for an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to give me a life sciences check too? Yeah, I, I'll give you a life sciences check. <laughs> Natural two or a nine. <laughs> uh, Fifteen on life sciences. <laughs> yep. No. Uh, oh, Nala. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Where have we found anything here? No, I'm asking you to make a physical or a life sciences check. Yeah, I rolled a seven. Kind of. All right, between the, between the group, you, you're able to ascertain that there was various sections of the lab. It looks like there was probably some uh, physics on one part, some some science, uh, some. Genetic on another side, there may have been some mert melding of the in the middle. It's hard to tell. There was some apparatus in the middle that's almost been completely destroyed. Hmm. Where those crates are that where Ilesi is, I envision that as a maybe with a round summoning circle and a glass dome, but it's almost completely vaporized. There's nothing to see there. Hmm. All right, Hi. trigger powers up the terminal. I can make some science checks. I gave you all the information you're going to get. So, uh, he finds some, some video logs, and uh, this one is dated 19.0 years ago. You remember that the facility was abandoned 19.6 years ago. This is just shortly prior to the abandonment. It's a Yoxian scientist, undead. And, uh, what? The map works. No, that, the way it works, don't worry. This this that nineteen point six years ago it was abandoned. So nineteen years ago, this happened. So after it was abandoned. No. Before it got abandoned. Before it got abandoned. Possibly the reason why this 
lab exploded is the reason why the lab is abandoned. But we <clears> shall <throat> see. Best of luck, Dr. Musa. You can see he's wearing a uh, corpse fleet lab coat. See, see, yeah. Major Malakar provided us with an unusual artifact to study today. It is small and seems to generate substantial power, but in a wavelength we don't understand how to control. It is a welcome respite from our continued dead ends with the mist. There's a follow-up uh, 19.1 years ago. Success! It took us over a dozen tries, but we have successfully used some of the power generated by the artifact. It seems random, like it wants to interact with other similar power sources, but we're able to filter it to some extent. There's uh, some logs after that. No, no, nothing, um, some dated entries with nothing in them. And then the system is just, the, the, everything else out there is corrupt and destroyed. And only a couple days after that. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. So they took the energy crystal of the stellar degenerator and they tried to tap into that energy and something bad happened. There was a big boom. Probably what just just, just destroyed the lab and, and and the rest of the stuff on this on, on this horrible planet. What does it say on the scanner? Does the scanner still say that the energy crystal is still within the asteroid? Your scanner shows. Uh, that's interesting. Um, it shows yours and one similar to yours. Mm. It does actually recognize it as a slightly different wavelength as yours there. There, I just worked my plot line around the, the obvious problem with that. Uh, Trigger, can we connect our energy crystal and reproduce this laboratory e effect? It would be nice to have light. We could have new energy in this place. I do not see any problems with this idea. <laughs> Ghost, that is one of the worst ideas I think no no you so you are saying you do not like this idea I think that is a very, <laughs> very there's very, nothing left to look up to what? I mean everything is pretty much destroyed in that room except for, <laughs> even that terminal is terrible ghost has tremendous faith in trigger skills though and abilities is it, uh, is it wise to reproduce the experiment that exploded this lab what could possibly go wrong? We have Trigger. An explosion? He, he, these guys Everything were stupid. Everything could go wrong. No, I do not think so. Words. No, 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 no. Guys, 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 he's right. You do do, do have me, and, and most likely things won't be bad, but exactly. I think it's a bad idea to try to do that here. Okay, Trigger, you know best. You know the I, science. I think, I think if we want to try something like that, we need to be in a m m much more controlled environment. You know, go. Some of us have other. Some of us are. Some of the rest of us are smart too. I do, Wait, what? I do not ooh, doubt these. I my intelligence is eighteen. Oh, you have a one hundred and eighty IQ. I I'm see, very smart. I see that you are humble bragging now. Okay, that is fine. Good for you. <laughs> I'm very go, happy go, go, for go, go, you. Go. It's it's hard. It's hard. Hard, hard to be humble. You broke oh, up, Avi. What was the what was the dig? I missed it. <laughs> I said it's it's hard to be humble when you're as great as I am. Oh, that is good. Well, you know, she did kill the slime lizard uh, ice acid creature. She did kill Tom Tom Tomlin, Lily Tomlin, Tahoman. Tahoman. Uh, she she killed a lot you of guys, things. You guys hear a slurping in the wall like you haven't heard before. Very <laughs> oh much God. more defined. Go suddenly oh, shuts the hell up. Creature. His left ear twitches. Right. Perhaps you... we should be more quiet. Did you hear that? I think Ayalisi should look at that. She she kills everything anyway. All right, let's get this door open. All right, okay, Bugman, you open the door. I gotta oh, step up. Man's gonna open the door. I'll be right back. I'll open the door. You guys can move me. Okay. Does the door was lab two? There was no I'm label on the door that said lab two. But man, are you using your uh, telepathy? I mean, uh, telekinesis to open the door? No, no. I'll just push it open. Okay. It I'll goes. Just do it if you guys didn't. It goes up. It's a garage door. Yeah. Hey, hold on. 
What sound does the garage door going up make? I don't. I don't know. What sound does the garage door going up make? I don't know. I mean, the sound like you sound like you know. Oh, oh, I got you. <laughs> Every time Adam does that, it's you know. Do you remember like any? He makes the sound to the guys to go kill Indy, and he's like. Psh, psh, with the little motion when the with, with the tribes. Yep. That's that's the sound that I think of. Hey Chris. <laughs> yep. As you're moving around the room, do you want to drop some of those light sticks to Oh light yeah. Them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let you guys control that. I think I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to move Nala in cuz I don't know where Jeff is. Just there. Oh, just there? Okay. He's in the dark. Sir, I, I only see Jeff's character. I don't see Jeff anymore. Sorry. I lost, I lost his video. Yeah, I don't see Jeff either. Well, Adam, welcome back, Adam. We're in a room now. No, I just moved Adam. That's all. <laughs> oh, I gotta, He just came back to the table. Hold on a second. I forgot. I gotta check this box so you can get the light back. What are you it. talking about? Of course I am back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you, Lizard Man. Of course it is me. Who else would it be? Okay, now I'm really back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't kill me yet? I don't see a red X on me. Uh, do, no. a, do a perception check, Adam. You, oh, just, just, just zero. you notice a, uh, a small piece of yellow sticky paper attached to your back. It says, kick me. <laughs> kick me. <laughs> I found the kitchen. Is this, an eight. This, is a, this is clearly not the lab. This might be lab too. There is no. There was no label on the door. Would there happen to be like a big neon sign anywhere or something that says lab two? There. It is a. The room is damaged, but not uh, nearly as bad as lab one. Hey. There's a lot of disarray. It's almost like there was a street brawl in there, uh, versus the destruction that the other lab had. There's a large piece of equipment in the in, in the middle of the room, similar to what you saw in the other room, but this one seems more intact. The one that Ghost is standing on? Yes. Hey guys, look at this. Look what I found. Get up there! What do you mean? It is cool. It could be important. Ah, fine. Well, it looks like a. Uh... Hey, Bugman, put a glow stick on there. Uh, I don't know how to do that. You, don't, you can't do that. I have to do that. Oh, oh yeah? No, oh, I guess not. Jo Josh is moving glow sticks around. So we check out the equipment first. Uh, right, so the, the equipment is in better shape. Uh, Ghost will still have to uh, trigger. Will still have to provide power to it, since there's no no power to the facility. But the DC is less now because he's been doing this now. He's done this a couple times. Give you a plus two uh, trigger on engineering. Okay. I want to find the spot where I think the computer is. I think it's over here in the kitchen. I'm gonna help trigger with right, engineering. Where you are, right where you are, trigger is close enough. Okay. All right. Actually, trigger here. First. Here, here is the table. Here. This table faces the the device. The table to your left faces the what's in the center of the room. Ah, okay. And there's a terminal there. Okay. So engineering first. Yes. Uh, engineering. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven on engineering. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you have no issue connecting the the power up. The terminal is in better shape anyway. You've done it like four times now, so it's not a big deal. He okay, pressed the on button. Computers is a 15 plus 13. Oh, what's going on? Only a 28? Come only on. Only a 28 on computer check. Add a plus two to that. Oh, Bob only got a 17? Well, I think I can beat that. I got a 30. I beat that. I beat Bob 17. Did you get over a 10? Then you're giving him a plus 2. 32. 34 now. Oh no, 32. You're 27. All right, so you, you power up. You're able to access some of the logs. And the video comes up, and it's a, a different guy. Same lab coat, but clearly different. Yoxian. Just, just another dead guy. I twice. Uh, Press on a log for Dr. Kuzi. It is unfortunate for the project that Dr. Musa was killed when Lab 1 exploded. From what we can tell from reports and video, he was continuing to increase the amount of energy 
he could safely draw from the artifact when he lost control of the reaction, causing the explosion that destroyed the lab. And he actually holds up the artifact, and you're, you're clearly confirmed that it is the same thing. Mm. How do you see what I am seeing? Mm. Yes. So, um, that was 19.1.5 years ago. 19.2 years ago. <laughs> we managed to piece together what Dr. Musa was doing and improved his design with more safeguards. Today, yeah, hold up we successfully surpassed his max energy withdrawal from the device. Yeah, find uh, there's at least three more of the labs, Mikey. Give me a uh, computer's check. This one's pretty damaged. Okay. See if you can put it back together again. We'll assist. Yeah. Yeah, anyone wants to assist? Uh, I assist. Plus two for me. Plus two for my Lisi. Anyone else? So you got plus four. How many plus is that? How much bonus is you can, give, you can give it to him, Jeff. I, I, I was just wondering how much total bonus. Plus four. Right now I'm at plus four, but it keeps stacking. My so, computer's is a uh, nothing. You got to get a 10 or higher to give him a plus two. Okay. So right now right now we're at a 31. Is it? <laughs> okay, you're good. Okay. Oh, Sivian gets you another. A, I got a 12. Perfect. You got another oh plus four. You're at 132, 33, 30, we're at 35. We're good. We're you, good. You, 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 you hear the next two, there'll be one after that. Okay. So, we had a serendipitous breakthrough today. The other day, one of my assistants was moving one of those godforsaken black oozes through the lab while I was running a test on the artifact. And the power generated caused a reaction in the ooze. Oh, good one. He, he, now he cuts to a video of showing the... Uh, it's clearly a containment chamber in the middle of the room that's been destroyed. Mm. Today we decided to test a theory we had after seeing the response. We captured two oozes and placed them in the same containment unit. How did they capture two Then exposed oozes? them to the energy we siphoned off the artifact. That's probably Incredibly, not a good idea. The two oozes melded together into a single larger ooze. Oh, no. We were unable to return them to their separate identities. Oh no. Oh, why would they? 19.4. Testing continues to go amazingly well. We've successfully melted multiple oozes into one. Why would you why? do this? <clears throat> the science of this is fascinating, but the military wants to know how many we can meld together. They envision weaponizing this from melding numerous oozes together into something massive that they could drop on an enemy installation. They were so busy trying to figure out whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think about whether or not they should. There's one log left. That is, right. that is very deep, Lizard Man. That is pretty good. I might use that someday. That's catchy. We need a computer check to see if you guys can recover this one. All right, I've had my lowest roll so far, guys. Let's get these rolls. Oh boy. Uh, you got a plus two from Ghost. All right, so we're at a 28 so far. I rolled a 27 by myself. Do you want to assist me instead? Too late. Or is already that... a 28. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. When you say you assist, then we're locked in. Yes, I assist. Sivian rolled a 20. Ooh. Looks like you got plus six. Chris, are you trained in computers? I got it on my checklist. I don't know. Hold on. You me... breaking it? <coughs> have to be trained in computers to check for it. Maybe. maybe. Well, it's on one of them. Well, maybe not. Never mind. Without, without Chris, we're at a 32. With Chris, we're at a 32. Anybody else? Nala? Ozzy? Why is it on that sheet and not, not that one? Okay, is it DC 36, Mikey? You want to upset a Benny? Uh, spend the penny. Okay, spend the penny. I haven't All spent right. it yet, so let's go for it. Mikey finally spends the penny. Mm -hmm. the same. Is that good, bad, or ugly? You get a plus two from Ghost. You can, you can say pluses. Oh, okay. Okay, so this time was a little bit better rolls. 18, 28. So I start with a base 30, plus you guys gave me six. Plus is 36. There you go. 
Is that what it is? Yes. The power of this melding technology continues to amaze and terrify me. Today we successfully melded six oozes, and then something unexpected happened. The it attacked us. began to form appendages. One even had claws. Had we not terminated, I do not think our containment vessel could have held it. That is totally unexpected. Who could have possibly guessed that something like this would have happened? What, what was the date stamp on that vlog, by the way? That was 19.5, so that was just before the, dark, the place went dark. So one month before the whole complex was abandoned. One, one, one time unit, whatever it happens to be. Right. Anything else on that video? Or was that it? You could see it roiling in the background in the containment unit. Ooh. You could see the claws in, in long, like two foot long, two or three at a time, slashing at a glass, what looks like maybe a glass containment unit that's charged with energy. And then, obviously, they vaporized it or some, destroyed it in some manner. Slashed it. Uh, so, can we go to where the containment unit was in this room? And uh, Yes, yeah, it's in the middle section. It's, it's destroyed now. Uh, I see. Does it appear to have been destroyed from the inside or from the outside? Uh, yes. I will not make you make a check on that. It was. It looks like something broke out of it. I suggest everybody bend over. Bend over a little farther. Okay. Put your head between your knees. Yes, I am doing this. And kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> At least he runs over so and hugs Ghost because he's closest and says, Ghost, I'm scared. I want to go back to the ship. I don't like this. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to be Ooze food. Listen, I, Alicia, I will tell you this. There have been times in my life where I too have been scared, and I thought I was going to die as well. And the only thing you can do in such situations is you must fight. That is the only solution. Well, what about running, man? No, they will find you. And even if they do not find you, it will be in your head. The only way you get it out of your head is to kill the fear. We must kill the sting. That is what I am saying. Or we can run. I agree with Buck, man. I think that we should run. You guys have the story now. You just gotta find the yeah. We just gotta find We don't have to kill it. We just gotta find that thing and leave. Yes, this is true. We can steal it and run. But I would prefer to kill it so it does not connect to our landing gear and then stalk us while we are in orbit around the asteroid. We can do it. Maybe. Oh. It's okay. I, at least you will be fine because it is going to kill the bugman first. And yeah, while he Josh, is being killed, no. you That's can run away. Nobody likes the like the bug man. Man. Josh. What, Adam? It looks like you're disconnected from Roll20, unless you just reconnected. I reconnected by accident. I, it, I, I was typing something as a whisper to somebody, and then my screen reloaded. Nice. Yeah, and computer's great. If you it's were like, talking to Mike, he's out walking the dog. Yeah, I know. Um, so you have a door to your bottom right here, by the way, if you can't see it. Is that the only other door out of the uh, room? Yes. Yes. We search the rest of the room, of course. Do we find anything else of use? Uh, no. The the glow sticks, it looks like they've put them in the other... They started using the other one a little bit as a storage room, but there's nothing else in here of value. Okay. Oh, are there any labels on this door? No. Okay. Do not open. Uh, actually, yes. Yes. Uh, quarters. Hmm. Lizard man, where are you? We need you to bust open this door. Sivian opens it. Yeah, I, I can do that. Sorry. Hold on a second. There we are. I think Jeff may be asleep. Oh, oh it's not even there. Nope, yeah. never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently, oh, Sivian is going in by himself. <laughs> He's brave. <laughs> And you also going with him? Adam's going in. Yeah, Adam, sorry, there? Sorry. I was yeah, I was I was gonna go, but I got some lag. 
Now you come well, home, I'm hiding behind Adam. So. <laughs> it's okay. Now is by herself in the, in the back room, so she's all set. <laughs> Are we able to drop the little uh, lights, or do we need to? You tell me if you want to drop them. They're easy. They're they're trivial for me to put in place. I'm gonna bring Nala over. Okay. If you go to the north, I'm gonna look quietly see. Okay. There's a series of beds here. You can tell this was some quarters. Hmm. And is that a cook fire? Yeah, it is with stools. I get it. Hmm. Uh, we, we should search, probably uh, ghost looks under the beds. He searches. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Is Sudan. there anybody in the bed this time? There is nothing probably in the bed. Take a nap. You definitely hear some slithering in the walls, though. Again, stay clear. Uh, give me a perception check for searching. Mm -hmm. Everybody search. Everybody roll perception. Terrible. I think it's very fitting that my perception checks have all been terrible tonight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-three. I have a good. I have a good perception. Twenty-seven is very nice. Adam, nice one. My perception check was better than Adam's. <laughs> it would be right. very hard to be worse. <laughs> so you, you're searching through the beds. You find uh, three cred sticks a total of, for a total of four hundred and ninety credits. Mikey, there's, you're searching the, these quarters. You found a uh, series of cred sticks for a total of 490 credits. We are in each. And then you also found... Hold on a second. Uh, you found two uh, rings of resistance mark one. It's in the chat window. Plus one to effects which you are particularly vulnerable. You gain an enhancement bonus to saving throws with your lowest base saving throw bonus. If two or three of your base saving throw bonuses are tied for the lowest value, you choose where this goes. Uh, and it never change, changes unless a different base saving throw there becomes your lowest. Um, wow, those are really good. Really good. Um, oh, I need, I need you guys to go back. Okay, um, you didn't say it, Bob, but you implied it earlier. Um, you. I'm assuming you thoroughly searched lab two. Yeah. Even though you didn't state that. I, I think you, I did you, ask, but yes. You, you may have. I, I left something off. If you did, okay. I need um, a perception check to see if you figure something. Actually, we could do an investigate check. Isn't that, that a actually? Is there, is there investigate? No. No, I okay. think that's Savage Worlds. I uh, got a 28 on perception. Okay. That. that Go sees something interesting as part of the containment chamber and points it out to uh, Trigger. Trigger, yeah. you think you see um, a pair of thermal capacitors in there? What? Oh. I'm going to attempt to remove those. That's yeah, an engineering check. Ghost will give you a hand. Yeah. Uh, not needed. I rolled a natural 20. Trigger, do you need the fusion spanner? Oh, you do not need that. Sorry. No, I got one of those ghosts. I got a 2035 with good help. Wow. So you found two of those. Wow. Uh, just so you know. Oops. Dang it. Um, I'm sorry. I only found one of those, Josh? No, no, you found both of those. I was trying to do something here that didn't save correctly. You found both of those. You found the two rings. And the two thermal capacitors. Well, I, 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 Josh, I only found one thermal capacitor as far as they know. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't think I found anything here, Ghost, did I? I do not see a thing. No. Hey, treasure. Oh, that's nice, Josh. Thank you. There's more to get later. Ooh, more treasure? Okay, you guys fight over who gets what will I pee again? <laughs> uh, here's the catch. I don't think My anybody has any. Saving throw was a five. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. That's really good. Oh, that's my reflex saving throw. My lowest, my lowest saving throw is a one. What, is that yeah, your fortitude? I'm gonna get her yeah. to get one of those rings. <laughs> well, she has the she has the jacket, so she could re-roll a saving throw. So, um, if fortitude oh, is the sorry. lowest saving throw for Nala and Ilisi, I might suggest they have two pieces of equipment that will help reinforce their lowest saving throw. 
So possibly we distribute the rings to others who don't have the jackets. But Okay, so my, my saving throw is my fort is a six, my reflex is a nine, and my will is a four. Wow. My fort is a two, reflex is a nine, and will is a four. The throws are insane! My fortitude is a one, my my reflex is a two, and my will is a four. Jeez. The, the Yusuke operative is, is a skill, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Anyway. Well, the fortitude is a two, Josh, so I'm, yeah. I got a weakness. I have none. And your will's not great either. Agree. So. Uh, so, yeah, so what do we want to do with the rings? I'm, I'm okay. If does somebody need the ring? I mean, we have two of them. Does anybody? I wouldn't mind one, uh, but maybe what we could do is, if anybody else wants them, we just ro do roll a roll twenty and we roll it off. Whenever two people get the highest rolls, get to take the rings. Yeah. So okay. So Bob oh, no. wants one. Does it, and Jules, you want one? Yeah. So that's two. Does anybody else want them? Otherwise, we need to roll off. And no, no harm, no foul. This is good treasure. You should get in there if you want it. It's a lot, really. I don't know. I've been in the craft room. Jeff, do you want any? Do you want the, one of those rings? If yes, uh, type it in. If Jeff no, is sleeping. I think he's lost Thanks his forever. fortitude save, and he is now sleeping. If he had the ring, maybe he would be awake right now. But he maybe. <laughs> and you thought that Adam. Okay, so you know what, Bob and J Jules, for right now, why don't each of you take one of the rings? Okay. okay. And then we'll figure it out later with Jeff when he wakes up. Okay. He always naps. Jeff always naps during game. <laughs> I am definitely taking one of the thermal capacitors. Are you going to swap it out from your uh, recharger so you can start using it right away? Um, yes, I think so. Five resistance to cold and fire is not a bad thing. No. And honestly, I can always plug back in the recharger. It takes uh, ten, 10 minutes to yeah. uh, add in a, to swap, to swap them out. out, Yeah, as long as you're an engineer. So does anybody else want the second thermal capacitor? I know Jeff's got, or no, Sivian. I already, yeah, I have one. Uh, I, Alisi, if you took it, you have to sacrifice your jump jets. No. <laughs> if I took it, I'd have to sacrifice the brown force field. But the brown, <laughs> brown force field only gives me one point of damage. It gives you 10 temporary hit points, but only one per round can be used to cut down on damage. Adam, I know you can really appreciate my joy at this right now, because I'm not dealing with figuring it out. I'm just giving you guys the pain of figuring it out. Yep. Ozzy, I think you might be a really good fit for this, man. You now have the glove, which can automatically put a weapon in your hand. So if you get rid of the quick release and swap it out with thermal capacitor, that'll make you even more tanky. As long as I can... um, Because... It... I forget how the, the glove works exactly. Does it hold one item? It is limited two. to just one item. Okay, I thought it was so two bulk. Yeah, it is two bulk, but it's only one item that weighs up to two bulk. No. Okay, so then we'd have to put the artifact somewhere else. We would have to save it someplace else, that is true. Did someone buy the arm that you can put the thing in? The hideaway bionic arm? Yes. Yeah, did any... Yes, Ayalisi has the null space chamber, chamber. It's like a wrist bangle around her wrist. So we can put it in there. It's a purse of holding. It's a purse of holding? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so we could, we could just put the, uh, the artifact in her null space chamber. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And then I'll take out the quick release sheath and put in the... Um, uh, that thing that you were talking about that I don't remember the name of it, but thermal gives me plus five. Thermal, thermal capacitor. Thermal that's capacitor. The one, yeah. It's in the chat window. I do like that. I think that's awesome. I agree. And now you just snap your fingers and your tack lash appears in your hand. And you snap it again and your tack, tack lash disappears. What happens if his fingers are broke or cut off? Or frozen. Or this frozen. is like a Thanos type situation here. That's going to be a problem. He's going to have to learn how to snap with multiple fingers, I think. Yeah, let's just hope that doesn't happen. If I lose my thumb, I'm screwed. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have time tomorrow? Time tomorrow? It would be yeah. funny if uh, Josh makes Adam snap every time causing the item to appear, and if he messes up on his snap, it doesn't appear that turn. 
Oh Sorry. boy, high pressure snapping. Can hey, you... uh, with the thermal capacitor, though, Adam, you don't worry about worry about your hands burning off or becoming frozen. <laughs> That's true. Good point. So you can't snap because you, you're you know because of uh, uh, frostbite on your fingers. Nope. I have a thermal capacitor. So Adam, let's right. hear it. If you had to snap on demand right now, could you do it? Let's hear it. Oh. Hey. That was impressive. Three snaps and a Z. Yeah, the second one was me, the third one was Jules. We can't, yeah, I can't see. Her. We don't really know if it was Adam who snapped right now or if he just quickly pulled something up from YouTube. That's <laughs> true, you don't. There's a reason I'm not on camera at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's because your back hurts, right? When I somehow reconnected, I lost everybody's picture. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, that happens. Everybody. Sometimes you reconnect and you get them, sometimes you get a few, sometimes you get none. Do you want to try yeah. reconnecting one final yeah. time, Josh? Watch no. Your video, Josh. No, let's play. All right. So you, you found the treasures of this of the quarters. All right. And so many the treasures right. to be there, there, on it. There, is, there is a uh, a pad with it looks like maybe one more entry on it. Hmm. And who, who's who wrote, who's been writing down all the credits? Writing down the what? All all the credits we all the cred sticks we found so far. I have I have that. Okay. It's in the chat window. Oh, okay. Under the word inventory. What I do is I take the chat window, I turn it into a text file. I do a control F and then I Oh for inventory? Yeah. So Bob, I'm gonna try to make it easier on you and make it a handout for every session. Oh that'd be nice. Thanks, Josh. Well it makes it easy for me to put it in there too so I can keep track of it all in one place. Cool. Since I since I have to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I may have been too generous this session, we'll figure it out later on. Um No, you, I don't you, think you find a, a a pad, uh, you recognize it as a you know a personal um, you know, an iPad type of device. Its battery is clearly dead after 19 plus years here, but it may be something on there. It's a simple process for. I can get a battery. I it was dead after six months. It was an Apple phone. I I, I have, uh, I have I, a cantrip that can give it life. If anybody wants to. Just do it. No, I have to transfer so the point. I have to transfer a charge, so I need somebody to sacrifice something to transfer charge to it. Could just be your as if anybody's carrying around an azimuth laser pistol, they don't feel like using. Yes, I have a second pistol here. You can use that battery from the second pistol. I okay, have that should be fine. As long as long as it, use, it has to use. <laughs> it says move charges from one power source to another source of the same type. Uh, I'll let it slide. It's not quite the same, but I'll make it's it work for this. Not quite one. the same, but I'll hear it. All right, so you move it over. It powers right up, and uh, it's it's Doctor Kusi again. He's he's in a tunnel somewhere. He's the lab two guy, right? He, he's a lab two guy. He's breathing heavy, and you can barely make out his face. The mist is thick and darkness. It looks like he doesn't have a, even have a light source with him. Our our last experiment was our first worst mistake and greatest success. We successfully combined seven oozes into a creature that surpassed all our guesses. It exploded out of our containment field, generating claw-like appendages and sliced the lab text to pieces. <coughs> a few of us barely managed to escape, stealing the room behind us. Look into the lab footage, the creature was unperturbed by the door and simply oozed into one of the slits in the wall that we left. We built into the facility to try to evacuate the black mist. It could be anywhere now. And then as he says that, you can see a black claw come out from behind him and remove his head. So he should be around since that was his last entry. Look around. It was 20 years ago. There, there's, there's, there are several decomposing bodies here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> we searched the bodies. What do we find? Anything else on the bodies? No, it's, it's clear that you know, they're, they're a disaster. They were they were mutilated beyond recognition. Is there anything in the notes, uh, their scientific observations, uh, in terms of weaknesses of the creature that they've created? You get the impression that they were pushing further than they they, they knew they were pushing harder than they should have, probably from a military perspective, and that they really don't know, didn't know what was going to happen. Do we? And they. They, they, it happened. It, it broke out right away in one of the pieces. Uh, do we know they're uh, part of Corpse Fleet? We we already deduced. Yeah, they all they're all wearing their their the lab coats with the Corpse Fleet insignia. 
they're all undead. And, and can you remind me, like, uh, Corpse Fleet, they're like, clearly the bad guys, but what's their relation to EOX? Are they the military branch of EOX, or are they like a renegade military unit? Depends who you talk to. But if you want to give me a, a check on that, culture check, culture check on that, we can uh, look it up real quick for you. Okay. Culture check, 16. Uh, 28. That was not a great check. Hold on a second. I got 10 inch. Oops. So the the corpse fleet was a group of of military Yaxians who did not support the joining of the Absalom Pact. Oh. The Absalom Pact was formed to fight the Vescarium during that invasion. And when the Pack Worlds joined the. Just like a so some people thing. support the Corpse Fleet, some people don't. It's considered a rogue. It's not supported by the official. It's not sanctioned by the official government of EOX. It'll be very. Yes, Jules. Firefly? <laughs> not quite. Yeah. It, you, you <laughs> all. In, in, in World, you would all be curious. Where Gabriel R. Snores, loyalties lie. Well, seeing as he's an ambassador to Absalom and he lives on Absalom Station, that uh, that seems like pretty obvious. Yeah, we could just <clears throat> people in power often have other connections. Uh, also, weird. Why would these renegades be attacking us so many times, or attacking other people? Our paths Why keep crossing. Why do they care about us so much? It could be they're they're aware of what the they want to sell the gen- the generator for themselves. They're a fleet. They're not small potatoes. They're not six ships. Are there? Do we know enough to know how big that fleet is? Nobody knows how big the fleet is. Hmm. Well, surely they must have known how much of the Eoxian forces split off at the time when the civil war broke out. But I probably wouldn't. But that was, that was years of, years earlier. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. That is helpful. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Riley, it only gives a paragraph. Interesting. And we also, of course, search this room. We search the beds. Here, Eox has, has severed all ties with the corpse fleet, claiming it's a rogue remnant of the old regime. But many of the packed world suspect that the Bone Sages are still in communication with the Ghastly Armada. Offering clandestine support to the corpse fleet and its activities. Hmm. They all were living once upon a time, and then the entire planet became undead. So they probably have these like super long-lasting relationships for hundreds hmm. or even thousands of years. So the, the, the bone sages they reference are actually liches. This oh. is the UD version of a lich. Interesting. So they've been in power for. Hundreds or thousands of years. I don't know exactly when the Eoxian problem occurred. Hmm. Okay, good so, to know. All right. C- Sivian's going to pick up one of these sheets and put one of the glow sticks underneath the sheet and use his uh, psychokinetic hand to float it up the stairs, shifting back and forth uh, against the walls. Okay, so once it gets about, you can once it gets to ten feet away, nobody yep. else can really see it. Once it gets to fifteen feet away, you start to be able. To, it's obstructed from your view by the, um, by the mist. So you can't send it too far ahead. Yeah, it's got to only be what fifteen feet. And then, and then, and then only you can you can sense it with your with your tremor sensor or whatever you have. Yep. Yep. And that can help us go up the stairs. Sylvia, can you can you can do this with any object, not just the sheet and the glow stick? Well, yeah, yeah, it just has to be a little light for me because you know I'm a little weakling. Uh, let me let me try something here. He pulls open his comm unit, and he tries a group call between Sivian himself and Trigger, with FaceTime turned on. Hello, Sivian, can you see me? Hello, Sivian, can you see me? Echo, echo, echo. Sorry, let me put it on mute. (laughs) 
So you can he's now got a conversation open on his personal comm between you and Trigger and him. And he puts it on selfie mode. Can you float this with the light stick? He hands you the personal comm unit. Yeah, I could do that. Do you think the bulk's going to be enough to trigger anything that uh, is up there? I do not want to trigger anything. Sorry, trigger. But now, if you look on your comm unit, you can see 15 feet ahead. You see? Because the call is still on. Cool. And Trigger can see as well. And uh, if you all call Trigger, you can all connect. We can all see what he chose. That's a really good idea, Ghost. All right, so you're, you're having a remote control camera, so you're telling me. Well, unless you don't like that idea, maybe there's no signal or something. I understand if you don't want to go there. It doesn't impact me a whole lot. Okay. I and I will applaud your your your, your creativity. creativity. Okay. And, and I dare say, Bob, it is wicked cool. <laughs> we have a glowy ghost recorder. Nice. It has to be taped to it because it only it can be one object, so it's got to be taped to it. As I told Jules, she was talking. They were talking. About, they had to design an experiment in physics with certain parts. Did you have duct tape? And she said no. Well, it is not a problem. Here, give me the comm unit back. He pushes a button. See, it has flashlight mode. There. Actually, the uh, personal I comm unit does have a flashlight and games. Trigger, Trigger's still playing with the the tablet you watched it on, and he finds one more. It's not a log file. It's video footage. Ooh. It's like it's it's like you know just video footage from the lab of what happened afterwards. Like CCTV. Yeah. Closed caption. I assume you're going to watch it. Oh, yeah. Yes. So there there is no there is no sound. You see, the creature that erupts from the containment vessel actually absorbs the light. You can't see it. You can see parts of it. You can see the claws come out from time to time. And you can see it grab the stellar degenerator power device and consume it, maybe? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you see that? You have to kill it. Uh... You lied to me. Go get the device, Chiskis said. Go to the asteroid. It will be fine. Don't worry about the acid van, it said. Don't worry about the flying hell creatures. Don't worry about the sludge creature. Great. Great. Join Starfinder. See the world. Reach new life. New civilizations. Boldly go where no Yosoki has gone before. <laughs> Clearly you have, because you're already here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We heading out? Yes. Let us go. Curious I think, I, I think you guys can move each other. I was able Just, to move. Yeah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, I moved no. Right. So, yeah, if you guys could move me, that would be fantastic. So, for the yeah. sake of, hold on a second, Chris. So, for the sake of, mm -hmm. if I put you all together, like, like, stop moving yourselves. <laughs> if I put you all together like this. Yep. Right, somebody draw a box. Chris, stop moving. I'm not moving. Somebody draw a box <laughs> around the group and see if you can move everybody at once. Oh, okay, hang on. I'll give it a shot. I got a box like around the group. They all seem highlighted. Confirmed. All right. You just want to move that way for now? Sure. Except uh, I think uh, Ozzy would be in the front if you guys yeah. don't disagree. Move, move, re rearrange yourselves there. There's some rubble here. It looks like something destroyed the stairs as it tore through here. You see deep gouges in the walls and the floor. Oh Clearly, this thing is fairly large. I want to be right in the middle. Okay. With Trigger right, right. in the rear, kind of follow on our vanguard. Yeah, I'll kind of stay in the back there. Okay. Uh, do we want Nala somewhere up there? Or does Nala want to be back with She's going to be giving us movements and stuff, so I think that is not bad. Anyone okay. disagree? Nope. All right, I'll lock it in once you are good I'll to go. I'll keep an eye on her from behind. Get it? I saw that coming. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I got it. 
All right. I only have ten. All right. So if you as you move as you move up there, you can see uh, there's a door to your to the south here to your right. Actually, hold on a second. Oh yes, the door. All right. Now I can see what you see. Go ahead and keep moving. Can we'll be around. See this is another. You, you can tell you can tell by the way the room feels that it's a, more of a chamber than a. Are you dropping a few um, light sticks? Yes. Yes. Right. Gonna drop one by the door. And by the way out, the why we came, so we know how to get back. <clears throat> Is Nala still sleeping? Like a baby. Yep. Look at her. Look at her go there. I I, I can't see. I her can't anymore. see her. I lost I lost I lost Jeff's video. His head is uh down, his chin is against his chest. <laughs> uh his glasses are still on. Then he's just breathing deeply. That uh, looks like a second yep. uh door on uh, the eastern side right here. Yep, to your right is a door. And Josh, uh, just assuming that statue isn't really a statue. No. Okay. Disregard that. Okay. That's what I figured. I just so you have a door to your south, a door to your east, and right there, it actually drops off a ledge into darkness. Oh, whoa! Oh. What did you see? That I could have been killed. You, you can hear. Mind the gap. I yeah. think I at least he tried to push you, ghost. No. Did you try to push me, Alice? No, no. Mm, sense motive. Good. Trying to P S there it is. Sixteen. I I you, you read at least like a book. You know she's not capable of lying like that or doing that. Ghost relaxes. No, you did not. Okay. Why would I lie to you? I don't know. There are lots of people who try to kill me. Uh, Ghost, you're my best friend. <laughs> oh, now, now, sense bullshit, bro. I'm going to do a sense bull. <laughs> sense motive. <laughs> uh, a natural one. I am? I am your best friend? Oh, I did not know this. Wow. That is very touching. I, hug. I thought it was the goblins. I did not know it was me. <laughs> Clearly, clearly, Nala needs better taste. Or Ialisi. Did I switch him up again? Damn it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> hey, guys. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a question for the group. Um, Jules is probably turning in soon because she's got an AP exam. I yes. Adam is struggling with his uh, disc, with his back. I am I am um, laying on my bed right now on my phone with Discord. Oh, and man. <laughs> Jeff is out like a light. And Jeff is out. Do we want to pick this up next week? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because that, that, that's totally fine, man. That, <laughs> I, that. I, I hate to cut it short Thank after you guys two hours. so much. I, 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 I hate to cut it short after only two hours, but we got three. We got three guys that we're going to lose in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. So. No, 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 no. we've already lost one. So we lost, lost Jeff lost half one. an hour ago. Yeah. Agree. Adam, so wait, what? So so wait, what happens now with Jeff? He just stays there with the computer on <laughs> for hours. <laughs> what like what happens? Yeah, <laughs> he eventually wakes up somehow. <laughs> That's it. If, if Josh really wanted to be I nice, really he could like really like to be a fly on the wall with that house. I don't know. Can, can anybody like put on the screen like the uh, the Twilight Zone thing? <laughs> so when he wakes, so when he wakes up, it's there. You know, it, it's in Jeff's house right now. He has Sherry, who's an all all hours person. Austin, his oldest son, who's probably a night owl. Tyler, who falls asleep at seven o'clock, like Jeff does, and Jeff. <laughs> so. Man, that's funny. All right, guys. So then we'll we'll call it for tonight. I hate to call it sh short, but I think it's, it's in the best interest for everybody. So I think this I'll tell you, I certainly idea. do not mind. Good luck on your test. Yeah, best good of luck. Thank you. Yeah, good luck, brainiacs. All you guys are brainiacs. <laughs> listen, listen I, just, I want to throw it out there, but all you need is a C to graduate, people. When in doubt, no, see no. you know? D Adam, I just blue screen. Adam, I just blue screen. Oh, I have never blue screen. 
Wow. <laughs> this was meant to be. Wait, you blue screen, but you're still talking to us. How does that work? There's Jules to run the, the audio. Oh, yeah. that's fortunate. All right, guys. You're still in roll 20, though. If your Dresden dude is still there. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. Be safe, right. guys. I have a good week. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Talk to you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.